So this is the surprise that is no longer a surprise since 8 a.m. Yes. So what did you announce at 8 a.m. and who are you? Yeah, so <laughs> I'm from Kik. Uh, Kik is one of the largest chat apps in the world. And the thing we are announcing today is a new cryptocurrency called KIN. Ooh, I know, it's pretty exciting. K-I-N. And basically what KIN is, it's a, it's a new way to solve the problem of the increased monopolization of digital services by a few big companies. And instead puts us on a path to a future for consumers that has more choice, more innovation, and ultimately more freedom. So to put this in context, because not everybody knows Kik, you already have millions of users. And as of yesterday, you didn't have anything to do with the blockchain. And as we know, most of the tokens we hear about typically are coming from blockchain companies. So I think you are the first non-blockchain company that is announcing a significant token uh, offering. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So Kick is a really big app. Like if you pull out your phone and you go to the top free apps, uh, you'll find Kick in the top 100 free apps overall on your iPhone or on your Android. And this is actually something we have been thinking about for a while. We actually first started thinking about this in 2011 when we first heard about Bitcoin and the blockchain. And what we realized is that the blockchain allowed a new way, could create a new way to monetize a community. So historically, you build a community, Kick has 15 million people that show up every month, over 15 million people. And so historically, what you want to do is you sell their attention to advertisers or you try to sell them stuff that maybe they don't need or don't want. But now with the blockchain and with a cryptocurrency, you could change that. And instead, what you could do is, hey, what if we just brought people together? Brought people together in this community and created an economy where people are providing value to the community and taking value from the community on, this, on a cryptocurrency. If you could do that and do that alone and by owning a chunk of that cryptocurrency, it could be a fundamentally new way uh, to monetize a community. So can you unpack what you announced this morning in terms of is it a token offering? Is it a set of capabilities? Is it there's something to do with your ecosystem? So what are the components of the announcement? Yeah, so what we announced this morning, uh, we published our white paper. So if you go to kin.kick.com, you can read our white paper. And really, we wanted to just get it out there and say, OK, we are doing this. And so that was sort of the starting point to start working with the community. Um, but in that white paper, you'll see we outlined four steps to what we're trying to do. So the first step, very simply, is we're going to create KIN, a new cryptocurrency, on the Ethereum blockchain. So it'll be an ERC-20 token. Yeah, go Ethereum. <laughs> go ERC-20. Um, the second step is integrating KIN into KIC, this huge messenger, to give KIN value. So this is something we've been, we launched a KIC points in 2014, a centralized digital currency to see if we could get people earning and spending in a digital currency, because that's what we thought was missing with Bitcoin. Nobody gets their paycheck in Bitcoin. So everybody has to convert in. What if we could get people natively earning in a digital currency? And we created a transaction volume, the number of people earning and spending every day, three times higher than Bitcoin's transaction volume globally. So we said, okay, well, there's something there. So that's step number two, is taking KIN, integrating into one of the largest consumer apps in the world to really give it value and to make KIC better and monetize KIC in a new way. But we didn't stop there. We said, wait a second, if we give Kin value, could we use some of that value to spark the creation of a new ecosystem of digital services? There's all these developers out there who have built these amazing things, but they can't make any money. They don't have the scale to monetize through advertising. And these huge companies who do have the scale are giving everything else away for free. So you have all these developers who are trying to build these amazing things, but they're just they're going broke. What if we took a big chunk of KIN and used it to create what we call the KIN rewards engine? And so it's sort of modeled on the Bitcoin mining reward. You know, what makes Bitcoin work is every day or every you know, 10 minutes, some amount of Bitcoin is given away to the people that run the infrastructure. What if we gave some amount of KIN away every day to all the developers who bring their digital services and into this how ecosystem? How would you decide how much each one gets? What are the metrics? So have you figured that out yet? So the metric will be very simply is, if you're a developer and you bring your digital service into this ecosystem, 
the percentage of transaction volume that your digital service creates relative to the overall ecosystem, the overall Kin ecosystem, that's the percentage of the daily reward you get. It's almost like a uh, profit sharing kind of a co-op type model. Yeah, it, it economically incentivizes everybody to work together. And, and the really nice thing about it is it creates this great network effect where the more developers that come into this ecosystem, the more transactions they create, the more transactions they create, the more valuable Kin overall becomes. And the more valuable Kin overall becomes, the more valuable the daily reward becomes. And so we see this daily reward starting about $100,000 a day, but quick, quickly grow to half a million, million dollars a day, if not more. In terms of token value? In, in terms of exchange into US dollars, but with the token value. Because we're giving a, a sort of a set amount of tokens out every day in a declining, uh, declining curve. And I think this is the thing that most people, that is underestimated most, is just how much power the blockchain, economic power, the blockchain and cryptocurrencies unlock. Because people come to me, it's like, well, you're gonna give away $100,000 every day? You're gonna run out of money in no time. If Ethereum were to give out $100,000 of Ethereum every day, how many days would it take them to get to giving out all $10 billion of their current market cap? It would take 273 years. This is the amazing thing uh, to me about the blockchain, about cryptocurrencies. It's not just a new way to monetize a community, but it's a new way to align a large group of people to all come together and work together to build a better society for consumers. One that's not just open, where consumers can freely move between all these different digital services, but also one where developers make money. So let's be specific about the users uh, themselves. You said that they can earn tokens. So what can you tell us the ways that users can earn tokens? So we have millions of people showing up every month. And we have a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different examples that we've put in the white paper. Uh, some of them from our experience with KickPoints, but some of them based on our research going forward. And we'll have many more. But for example, as a, as a teenager, you could create a great sticker and you could earn kin. You could host a great group chat and charge entry to that group chat and earn kin. You could create a great bot and people could use that bot and you could earn kin. And so that's where we really see this new model of build a community not to sell advertising, not to try to sell stuff to people they don't need or want, but just build a place that people come together and provide value to each other, create value for each other. And if you do that, you can make a better future and you can also make money. So what's interesting is that almost from day one, you're gonna have this kind of transactional economy, meaning that users can earn, but they can also spend. So exactly. that's the key point of any successful uh, economy is, is that it has to be circular, right? That, that's the big thing we saw with Bitcoin back in 2011 is, why would anybody spend in Bitcoin in the mainstream when everybody's earning in US dollars? If well, you earn in US dollars and gonna convert it to Bitcoin, and then they're gonna buy something Bitcoin, they're just gonna convert it back to US dollars to pay their employees, like that makes no sense. Let's just stay in US dollars. But now we have these huge digital ecosystems, these where people are coming and hanging out digitally in communities. Now we could actually get people both earning and spending natively in a cryptocurrency. So this is a new way to monetize a community, or is this uh, a new way to uh, incentivize, is this the future of work, or is this kind of more community specific? This is a few things. So this is a new way to monetize a community. Within this community, within any individual community, it's a new way to get compensated for the value you provide, but it's also a new way to spark the creation of an ecosystem of digital services. And our ultimate vision, step four of our plan, which you'll see in our white paper, is to create the Kin Foundation. Because at the end of the day, we want to use Kick to spark the creation of this new ecosystem. But then over time, Kick is just one of hundreds, if not thousands, of digital services in this ecosystem. And Kick has no control over it. And that's where the Kin Foundation will come in. They'll administer the rewards engine. They'll provide an identity service. Let's think of it as a decentralized Facebook Connect. And they'll also provide the transaction service. So as a consumer, I can freely move around this ecosystem, try out a bunch of di digital services, and then when I get there, easily log in and start earning and spending kin right away 
in a way that's both frictionless and secure. So this is kind of gets into governance territory because now you have a responsibility for billions, millions, or maybe billions of dollars uh, in, in cryptocurrency. So uh, how will you set up the governance structure? Is it going to be a separate structure from Kik Inc? Yeah, so the timeline for this is we're publishing our white paper today. Um, we'll start integrating KIN into Kik in a way very similar to what we did with Kik Points. And then we'll announce a token distribution event later this summer. And from there, later this year, early next year, that's where we'll where we will start to open up the platform for other developers to join the ecosystem. At that point, that's where we'll create the Kin Foundation. And that's really why we want to publish the white paper is figure out who are the best people to run this? What is the best way to structure this? Because at the end of the day, you know, again, Kick, we want to spark the creation of this ecosystem, but we want this ecosystem and Kin to go way beyond Kick. Can you talk about the particular specifics of the token sale? Have you said you're going to raise X dollars and and is there a, a number that? So we're going to be uh, selling 10% of all kin, which will be one trillion tokens uh, later this summer. Yeah, we think, big, we, think bi we think big a kick. We think big a kick. <laughs> what is that in dollars? <laughs> so in terms of the exact dollars and the exact way we're going to do it, that's something we're going to work with the community over the next couple of weeks to figure out the best way to do it. So you're looking for feedback. Basically, the, the paper, yeah. basically, that you it's like a, it's not a final paper. It's a, it's a. It's a draft. It's, it's a, draft. a first draft. And I think something about Kick is we've been working on platforms for a very long time. So we were actually the first chat up in the world to launch a platform back in 2011. And we were the first chat up in the Western world to add bots in 2014. And today we've had 187,000 bots created on Kick. Kick is one of the biggest bot development platforms in the world. Bigger than Facebook. I don't know. If they, they haven't announced, I don't think, a bigger number than that, but <laughs> who knows? And so we, we, the thing that people say when they work with us on our bot developer platform is, you know, we really like working with Kik because they really come in and work with us, and that's what we want to do here. You know, we've been thinking about the blockchain space for a long time, but we've been looking at it as a technology and thinking not about the technology, but the go-to-market of that technology. And so with this announcement today, we really want to say, hey, we know we can't do this alone. We can't do it alone from a technology perspective. We can't do it alone from a digital service perspective. This really does have to be a community effort. This is kind of your Facebook killer uh, move, perhaps. <laughs> I think like we just recognize that even as a company as big as Kick, it's just getting really hard to compete. You know, you can't monetize through ads because only Facebook has the scale to do that effectively. You can't sell stuff because these big companies give everything away for free because only they can monetize through ads. And if somebody does manage to get through, right, we're the first ones to do a bot platform. If somebody does manage to get through, they just say, oh, good idea. And they turn to what I call a copy and crush strategy. Hmm. And they just say, I'm going to copy you and I'm going to crush you. <laughs> and we see them doing that to a bunch of players in the space. So to me, this is a recognition of these huge companies taking over, a recognition of that there is a better way and a recognition of that cryptocurrency is really the unique tool for the first time ever that can economically align a large group of people to all compete together. It's a weapon. It's, it's a weapon. It comes. Last question is, a year from now, where do you think this will be? Where do you want to be a year from now? We want Kin as a cryptocurrency and a, as an ecosystem to being on the path to building this amazing alternative decentralized ecosystem. An ecosystem that is compelling for consumers. It's not just open, but it's actually better because of its diversity. And a platform, an ecosystem that is open and fair for developers where we all compete together and share in the value that gets created in a fair and equitable way. Great. On that note, uh, I want to thank Ted. And this, what's thank really you. interesting is that Kik is a Canadian company. An, an hour from Leave it to the Canadian. where I live. And so we're kind of neighbors and... Uh, yeah, so we, we have 150 employees, offices in Waterloo, Toronto, New York, and Tel Aviv. Great. So we are a global company and we think this is the future and uh, we're going all in, even to the point where to show our sort of commitment to the space and also to provide an example for others, we'll be moving to open source all of Kik, both the client and server code. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.